Hi, this is Previn with Pipedream. Pipedream is a serverless integration and compute platform that makes it easy to trigger code on any event and integrate any APIs. Today, I'll show you how to listen for completed Zoom recordings, upload them to Google Drive, and then share them on Slack, all in about five minutes. As you watch, remember all the features you see, including sources and actions, are composed of Node.js that you can easily customize within our product. So let's get started. The first thing I'll do is create an event source to emit an event whenever a Zoom cloud recording is complete. Event sources are open source Node.js components that you can instantiate and run on Pipedream. They're hosted in our public GitHub repository so that anyone from the community can contribute to improve them. And you can also fork them to customize them to your own needs. I'll go ahead and select the recording completed source so I can connect my account and configure it. For this demo, I'm gonna select my weekly team meeting as a filter so I don't emit events for any recordings of my one-on-ones. Next, I'll name my source and click create, and then I'll create a recording in Zoom to generate a test event for my source. Okay, it's been about a minute since my meeting ended and I can see the recording completed event in my source. I can select the event to inspect it and I can also see options to trigger a workflow or consume the event via API. Other tabs in the source include the logs for my source as well as the code and configuration that I can edit at any time. For this demo, I'll click on Create Workflow to scaffold a workflow with my source configured as the workflow trigger. For the first step, I'll add an action to upload a file to Google Drive by URL. To configure the action, I'll connect my account, and then I'll use the Object Explorer to insert a reference to the webhook event from Zoom with the URL to the video file hosted on their server. Next, I need to tell Google Drive the MIME type of the file. That's not included in the data from Zoom, so I'm gonna go ahead and use an NPM package to derive it. To use any NPM package on Pipedream, just require it. There's no package.json or NPM install required. I'll just copy and paste the sample code from NPM and return the result of the lookup function. For the lookup, I'll just pass in a reference to the file type from Zoom's webhook event. Next, I'll disable the Google Drive step and deploy my workflow so I can send a test event to validate my code. Returning data from code exports it from the step. And as you may have noticed, Pipedream makes it really easy to inspect those exports. Exported data is also available to future steps as part of the steps object. And I'll use the steps object to pass the MIME type to Google Drive by referencing steps.mimetype.$return value. Next, I'll go ahead and configure the file name based on the meeting topic returned by the Zoom webhook. And then I'll add an optional field to specify the folder to upload the file to on Google Drive. Once that's done, I'll click Deploy and I'll send another test event to validate that my file is uploaded to Google Drive. I can validate that by observing the exports for each step including the response from the Google Drive API. And I can also look in Google Drive to confirm that the file was uploaded. Next, let's go ahead and send a message to Slack to let the team know that the recording is ready. I'll select the action to send a message to Slack and I'll construct a message in the text field. I can combine both text as well as dynamic references. Here, I'm just copying a reference to the output of the previous step that includes the URL to the location of the file on Google Drive. I'm also adding the channel and connecting my account. Then I'll deploy and send another test event. Once I do, I can monitor to make sure that the workflow executes successfully. If there are any errors, they will be clearly highlighted next to the step that generated them along with any error messages returned by the API. I can also switch over to Slack to verify that the message appears in the channel. The last step is to simply turn on the trigger so that the workflow will listen for any new events from the Zoom source. I hope that demo gives you a sense for how you can do more with Zoom using Pipedream. 
There are so many other use cases you can tackle, including analytics and tracking of webinar and meeting participants to monitoring and managing your Zoom user account usage. So sign up for free at pipedream.com and be sure to let us know if you have any questions or feedback. You can follow us on Twitter at Pipedream and join our public Slack at pipedream.com slash community. We can't wait to see what you build on Pipedream. Thanks for watching.